Hello everybody and welcome back to Checkout TV. Now before we get going with the second part of this mini-series, if you haven't watched the first part from 1998 to 2007, go ahead and do so and then you can come back here and watch part two. I'm going to make a short little slideshow of all the winners afterwards as well, so look out for that one coming soon. Um, before we start proper from 2008, like, subscribe, comment do all that good stuff to help the channel grow like i've said before i do this because i really really like the darts so uh yeah without further ado let's get going so in 2007 james wade was the winner and in 2008 phil taylor does what he always does which is win taylor has never not won the trophy in ireland in two consecutive years and 2008 is no exception. On his way to the final, he only loses one set. In the final against Raymond Van Barneveld, he cannot really make it any easier, and the result is 6-2. And unfortunately for defending champion James Wade, he can't enjoy his title for too long in Dublin. He loses in the first round to Tony Eccles, and he was the only seed who didn't survive the first round. But it must be said that in 2008... There were only one man who could claim the title, and obviously that was Phil Taylor. He reigned supreme, and no one comes close to it. His tournament average is close to 100 in this double-in, double-out system. In 2009, for the second year in a row, James Wade, seeded second this year, is sent home in the first round. Dennis Priestley is responsible for the elimination of the machine. Something less surprising is the good form of Terry Jenkins in Dublin. The Raging Bull reaches the semi-final for the fourth year in a row, a feat that besides Taylor, nobody has achieved. However, it's not his day because Taylor is too strong and he wins 5-2. The two sets Jenkins wins are the first two sets that Taylor concedes in the tournament. The same two men who contested the final in 2008 face each other again in the final one year later. And it's Taylor who is the strongest. This victory brings his total to nine titles in 12 years. Just an incredible number. In 2009, Michael Van Gerwen makes his debut and he does not go past the first round as he bows out to the artist Kevin Painter. As a new decade dawns, the highest finish of 170 is thrown no less by three men, which is a record. We've got Barney, The Power, and Simon the Wizard Whitlock, who all put it off. Sorry, pull it off. Phil Taylor doesn't win his 10th Grand Slam title in 2010. In the quarterfinals, Taylor nearly loses to Gary Anderson, but Taylor survives that round and wins 5-4. One round later, it's over for the defending champion. Adrian Lewis finally shows his true class, and after a long series of defeats, he finally beats his mentor, Taylor. On the other side of the draw, it's James Wade who reaches the final. Raymond Van Barneveld reaches the semi-final of the Grand Prix in 2010, as in 2007. He meets James Wade at the stage, and just like in 2007, he loses 5-1 to the machine. To make the comparison with 2007 complete, Wade wins the tournament just like he did in that year. 12 months later, in 2011, on October the 8th, Brendan Dolan writes history in Dublin. That day, he becomes the first player in history to throw a nine-dart leg with a double start and a double finish. He starts by hitting double 20 with the first dart and has six treble 20s and a treble 17 and a bullseye to seal history. Besides the spectacular nine-darter, the rest of the tournament is also great for Dolan. He reaches the high point of his career by getting to the final in Dublin. And on his way, Northern Irishman beats the defending champion, James Wade. Only Taylor has been able to defend the title so far in Dublin. And in the final, Taylor proves too strong for Dolan. Although the 6-3 scoreline is certainly nothing to be ashamed of. Taylor wins the Grand Prix for the 10th time. Because Dennis Priestley doesn't qualify for the World Grand Prix for the first time in history, Taylor is now the only player to have participated in all editions. With the victory for Taylor, the number one, two or three seeds have always won the tournament. That run of one, two and three seeds winning the tournament comes to an end. Uh, the World Grand Prix in 2012 is the confirmation that Michael Van Gerwen is back with vengeance. In the months leading up to the tournament, he has already won several floor tournaments. 
But in Dublin, he confirms that he belongs at the global level of the game. The tournament, as usual, is played in October at the City West Hotel in Dublin. And Gerwin beats Colin Lloyd, Adrian Lewis, Andy Hamilton, Wes Newton and Mervyn King then in the final. Mighty Mike falls behind 3-0 and 4-1 in the final, but manages a fantastic comeback and wins 6-4. Van Gerwen is the first player in the history of the World Grand Prix to win it without being seeded. As we move on to 2013, in the first round, Jamie Caven stays close to the power and is level at one set all. But obviously, Taylor still wins. One round later, Nicholson definitely gets chances to pick up the result, but doesn't take them. And from the quarterfinal onwards, Gary Anderson, James Wade and Dave Chisnell jointly win only one set versus Taylor. Taylor averages around 100 in all of these matches. For Chisnell, it is his first major PDC final. En route to the final, he beats defending champion MVG in the quarters in a fantastic game. All eight seeded players get through to the get through the first round in Dublin, which is quite unique. Both Gary Anderson and Michael Van Gerwen average over 104 in the first round. But of course, the winner of the tournament, Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor. For the final time, possibly. And roll into 2014, we do. In the first round of the tournament, we lose two seeded players. Dave Chisnell loses to RVB and Simon Whitlock goes out against Richie Burnett who we always usually say is the BDO stalwart. The real fireworks follow in the second round as both James Wade and Robert Thornton hit double nine darters, so that's one each, not two each, in their class. In the previous 16 editions of the tournament, only Brendan Dolan has accomplished this feat. Incredibly, now it's hit twice in one match, which is ultimately won by James Wade, who ends up in the final versus MVG. The final stays level until 3-3. In the seventh set, Wade's, Wade goes 2-0 up. He gets three darts to win the set in leg three, but loses the leg and the set in the end. The machine would never recover from the blow, and the final goes to Van Gerwen, who claims the World Grand Prix for the second time. 2015 is a year of many surprises, including a spectacular finale. For the first time in history, Raymond Van Barneveld and Phil Taylor were both knocked out in the first round of a major TV tournament. Taylor loses to Vincent van der Voort and Van Barneveld has to acknowledge the superiority of Adrian Lewis. Other favourites like Stephen Bunting and James Wade also lose in their first match. Big surprise in this tournament is the Austrian Mensor Suljevic, who's already had a fantastic year. After reaching the quarterfinals at the UK Open and World Match Play, this time he gets to the semi-finals, where he loses to Robert Thornton. In the second round, it's the end for Adrian Lewis, Gary Anderson and Michael Smith, leaving the only two seeded players left in the tournament to contest the final. Robert Thornton and Michael Van Gerwen will both reach this final, which is won by the Scot, who picks up his third major title after the UK Open and the World Masters. 2016 is a year where 12 of the 16 games in the first round were decided in a decisive third set, which meant some of the pre-tournament favourites got knocked out early. The big favourite before the tournament lived up to his role completely in 2016. Michael Van Gerwen came from a set down against Steve Beaton in the first round to win 2-1. Then James Wilson, Simon Whitlock and Dave Chisnell were pushed aside in impressive style. In the final, Van Gerwen started like a rocket in no time was three sets to nil up, where the match was basically decided. The last four sets were shared, but victory was never in danger. With an average of 100.29, Mighty Mike also claimed the highest average ever in a final as he picked up his third World Grand Prix title in five years. Phenomenal. The 2017 edition of the tournament would be full of surprises. Before the tournament begins, Phil Taylor decides not to enter, cutting out of various different tournaments and picking and choosing which ones he wants to play in. 11-time World Grand Prix champion has played the last ever Grand Prix in 2016. One day before the start of the Grand Prix, Gary Anderson pulls out too. His wife is about to give birth and the Scot decides to stay at home. When the tournament does finally begin, it rains surprises. In the first round, 
triple winner and number one in the world, Michael Van Gerwen, loses to John Henderson. Also, the number four, Adrian Lewis, and number seven, Michael Smith, lose their first round match versus Daryl Gurney and Gerwin Price, respectively. Simon Whitlock reaches a big final for the first time since the European Championship of 2013. The Australian survives a match dart from Christian Kist in the first round. And in the final, Whitlock is 2-0 up and 4-3 up. But the seven ton plus checkouts from his opponent, Daryl Gurney, takes him to his first major TV title. And the first time someone from the Emerald Isles has won the tournament. 2018 is a year where we see Peter Wright on the scene, properly and consistently, who had some trouble reaching the World Grand Prix final, although he eased through the first two rounds without losing a set to Steve West and Jermaine Watamena, but encountered an informed James Wilson in the quarterfinal. Snakebite struggled but defeated Wilson 3-2 and he completed a comeback for the ages in the semi-finals against Mensor Suljevic, who was up 3-0 in a first-to-four contest and ended up losing 4-3. Similarly to Wright, Van Gerwen did not lose a single set until the quarter-final either. In the first round, he defeated the only competing Irishman, Steve Lennon, 2-0. Michael Van Gerwen was victorious in the 21st edition of the World Grand Prix at the City West, and the Dutchman saw off Peter Wright in that final, 5-2. It was the fourth title for Mighty Mike, and wouldn't be his last. In 2019, which was fairly similar to 2012, where we had an unseeded player having a great run. This time, it was Chris Doby who reached his first major semi-final, with some great wins over Ricky Evans, Gary Anderson and Ian White. For Glenn Durant, it was his second major PDC semi-final after the world match play earlier in the year, even though he's still playing his first year on the circuit. In the final, Van Gerwen plays against Dave Chisnell, who beat Gerwin Price, Stephen Bunting, Nathan Aspinall and Glenn Durant on his way to the final. The final is a one-sided match in which Mighty Mike took a 4-1 lead, and although Chizzy did bring it back to 4-2, it was Van Gerwen who won his fifth and last title to date in the Grand Prix with a 5-2 victory. The 2019 World Grand Prix is the 34th major title for Van Gerwen, whilst Dave Chisnell will have to wait longer for his first. He is now 0-6 in major finals, with three of them coming against MVG. 2020 is another year full of surprises in the Grand Prix, especially in the first round, where six of the eight seeds bow out. Peter Wright, Michael Smith, Rob Cross, Nathan Aspinall, Daryl Gurney and James Wade all get their walking papers. Five-time champion MVG makes it to the quarterfinals where he loses to the wizard Simon Whitlock. The 23rd edition of the World Grand Prix was won by Gerwin Price, who won this major final for the first time in his career. In the final, he defeated Dirk van Dijvenbode the big surprise of the tournament. He wins 5-2 in sets, and Price started the final strong and took a 2-0 lead. Van Dijvenbode came back to 2-1, but he cannot stop Price. Thanks to a number of strong finishes, he runs into a 4-1 lead, and the sixth set goes to the Dutchman before Price finishes the match with a 1-0-2 finish to win 5-2 in sets. The World Grand Prix in 2001 was not held in Dublin, but in the Morningside Arena in Leicester. In the first round, there are a few surprises. Dimitri Vandenberg, Peter Wright and Gary Anderson all don't survive the first round. Gezi looks to defend his first title after claiming last year's final versus Van Dijvenbode. This year, Price also reaches the final in which he competes against compatriot Johnny Clayton. The Iceman loses his title to a very good Clayton who wins 5-1 in sets. In the final, the Ferret immediately takes the lead 3-0 in sets. Price wins the fourth set, but he's no match for Clayton today. Clayton continues to check out high finishes and ends the match with 116 before covering his face in delight. So that's it, folks. The history of the Grand Prix of Darts. 
from 1998 to 2021. I've got this year's bracket, so that's 2022, on the screen now, and I'm just going to tell you the schedule for the tournament. On Monday the 3rd and Tuesday the 4th, we've got the first round. On the 5th and the 6th, we've got the second round. On Friday evening, on the 7th, we've got the quarterfinal. Saturday the 8th is the semis. And on Sunday, we'll have the final. That's the 9th of October, 2022. Again, all the information in, in this video has come from mastercaller.com. Head over there to see anything and everything um, for, about that. I really couldn't have done it without them. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you again for another video on Checkout TV.